Hey, welcome back to Two Minute How To. Just picked up the new Ego 14 inch cordless chainsaw. I'm gonna unbox it and put it together. Let's get right to the video. So we can see this is the new Ego 14 inch. Comes with a battery and a charger. As you know, I've already got the uh, mower, weed eater, and blower. So this battery here will match all of my other tools. Directions. Battery charger. This is going to be your battery. And chainsaw. Okay, so right out of the box, it looks like it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, we got this blade guard. Okay, just need to put some bar and chain oil in it. Looks like the it's gonna go right here. Bought a gallon bar and chain oil, so we'll get that filled up. Put the battery in and we'll be good to go. This is gonna be kind of hard to pour into that little hole without getting oil all over that. So I'm gonna go find something to pour a little bit out of that uh, I could use. It's gonna make this be a little bit of a neater job. So let's get the battery in. I've only had the battery on the charger for like five minutes, but I did want to point something out. This is the battery for my mower. Okay, had it about a year and a half. Bought my mower last year. Let me go ahead and pop this one off the charger. This is the one that came with the uh, chainsaw. Just want to show y'all the difference. So this is the size of battery that came with the chainsaw. It's the same size that came with my blower and also my cordless weed trimmer. This is the one that came with the mower. So these batteries are completely interchangeable. If I'm mowing and I run out on this one, I can go grab the smaller one and finish up my project. Now this battery will fit on the chainsaw. So if this little one, if you got a big project, this little one's not quite cutting it. As far as the uh, time that you need for being out cutting, um, put the big one on there if you have one and it'll last you a lot longer. So this is the one that came with it. All you're gonna do is just slide it in, clip it down. Never turn this on so we're about to see what happens. Okay, so just without reading the instructions, this appears to be a break. Uh, comes default right here straight out of the pack if you pull the trigger push this in first right here and then pull the trigger it doesn't do anything all right so we're going to disengage the lock just click it one back till it gets to that line right there easy enough push in on the thumb button while pulling the trigger at the same time. All right, it works. So one quick thing I wanna show you, this is to tighten up the chain, okay? So it's perfect right now, but as you use it, it's gonna loosen up and you'll wanna just turn it. It has an arrow on there. Tighten that chain up. All right, well, let's get to cutting some wood. 
All right, let's try it out. I'll show you what I got. Got some scrap two by here. Gonna get my assistant to hold the camera and let's just see how long it takes to get through that two by four. Okay, as you can see, that worked really good. Um, let's go try it out on a, a log, a real log. See how long it takes to get through it. Got a log pile right here. I'll pull out a couple and we'll see what it can do. How about this one? All right. Okay, so that's it for the Ego 14 inch cordless chainsaw. As you can see, I didn't cut, you know, a whole bunch of wood. I just wanted to show you what it was like right out of the box, how long it took to get it up and going. The battery only charged for five minutes. It was probably already charged. It cut the two by fours just fine. It cut that log just fine. It seems like it's gonna be great. We'll just have to see how long the battery lasts, but I do have other batteries. And I would recommend if you were gonna do a lot of cutting and that was the only Ego tool that you had, you might buy an extra battery just to have. Seems really easy to get going. I love the fact that you don't have to pull the string. You don't have to mix oil and gas together. It's very clean. It's easy to start just pulling a button. I mean, you can't be just pulling a trigger to make something start or pushing a button or whatever. It's just so much easier. If you have uh, stuff around the house, you wanna trim trees, you got a post or something to cut. Um, I'm gonna be building some fence next week. Gotta tear the old fence down. We're gonna be taking a bunch of posts out. This would be a great saw for cutting some posts if we decided to cut them off ground level rather than digging them up. This would be a great tool for that. If you were out cutting big trees for lumber or timber or firewood, this probably isn't gonna be your chainsaw. It's just not meant for that. So it's smaller, it's more for a, a do-it-yourselfer, handyman or, or something just to have around the house. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video.